Finally, the last one that came in today. Oh. What would you do for a my five? Went off on a little tangent still there. Still on that. And if you want to come up with something, you could get uh, topianethy.com and email us, right? It's up on that one? All right. Go to a movie in the Bronx? <laughs> <laughs> no? <laughs> this is probably, we've heard some sick ones today, but I think this is the sickest. I think this is the sickest one. <laughs> what happened? He tried to get Ben. He, anytime you hear Jim go like, <laughs> real low in the mic, that's yeah. him trying to get oh. people. Yeah, this one involves Master Poe. Oh, it does. Yes, it does. I would get into an octagon with Master Poe. What's an octagon, by the way? Not the octagon. The octagon ring. Oh, oh. Eight-sided ring, right? Okay. Poe? Yes. Uh, Usually an octagon has eight sides. Yes. Okay. I right? Finish. Yes. Okay. With Master Poe for three to five minutes, UFC rules. Well, three to five minutes if Poe can last that long. Ultimate this, fighting uh, champion? Yeah. This guy's getting really cocky, saying if Poe can last that long. If I, if I make it through the time without tapping or getting KO'd, I win the my five. If I knock him out or submit him, I'll not only win the my five, but I'm known as the Poe killer, and I get to call and taunt him on his loss at least once a month. If he beats me, I'll walk around mm -hmm. wearing a I'm Master Poe's bitch t-shirt wherever I am directed to. Wow. That sounds like a challenge. That's like uh, when uh, little Danny from the Karate Kid went up against uh, Cobra Kai. All the guys from Cobra Kai. And you know what he did? He kicked their ass, Opie. Mm. If I may remind people of the plot of the Karate Kid. Well, let's get this guy on the phone. I want to talk to him see what he's about. That's right. So it sounds like a tough guy. He's very cocky, so we'll, uh, we'll get him on after the break, Ant. Don't make me come down there. To get you, too, tough guy. I stink. <laughs> the line. All right. We're going to break. We're, we're going to break. Guy from Boston threw me. Yeah. Totally old used Phil. me up. I'm, a, I'm old Phil from Boston. I'm his used condom in the toilet. Are we on break? Uh, yeah. Why, well, you got something to tell us? Hmm. Are we on break? Yeah. Yeah. Are we on break? Are you sure we're on break? Why? I'm asking you, are we on break? Yeah, we're on break. We're just sitting here... But Waiting for them to tell us to come back on the radio. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Why are you guys putting me into this? Putting this you into not what? Good. Oh. You're going to have some idiot coming down here. Right. And I'm going to have a lawsuit on my hands. This is bad. You think you'll kick his ass? I don't even know the guy. What if he's like... Uh, it doesn't matter. It might be Ortiz or somebody. That's wonderful. Hoist Gracie. That's wonderful. Hoist Gracie, right. Could probably afford a... How much time before we break? For break? Two minutes? T three? Oh, two minutes. All right. Two minutes. <clears throat> hmm. I got a whiz. Do you, uh, do you brawl people you don't know? I fought before. Yeah. I'm not here for that. I'm here to protect you guys. You got it? Yeah, why are you protecting us? I don't know. Supposedly you had some people that didn't like you in the past. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, a couple, but we can take care of them. That's good. I'm glad. <laughs> yeah, because you don't even know it, but Ant and I carry. That's good. Yeah. Glock. Just a little. Nine. A little, little something something. American Express. And yeah. I have a Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> That's about all I carry. Eight. <laughs> <laughs> carry eight. Get back or I'll bite you. <laughs> well, I got to take a leak. Well, we'll talk to the guy when we get back from break, and we'll see what he's about, all right? All right. Cool. I got to take a leak. Yeah. I want to hear this Richard Cheese thing. Baby got back. Richard Cheese is going to perform on our show, I think. Yeah. Oh my goodness! Is he? He's now listening and realizing he was on the radio, and now it's going to get ugly. And he's coming back. He's like, here he is. <laughs> he's pissed. Oh boy. I'm not even leaving the studio. You have to go in the bathroom, he's gonna kick your ass all over that bathroom. I'm not leaving the studio. <laughs> he's coming back in. Whoa! Oh man, is he you pissed? Fucking God. <laughs> I've been through a five year litigation. You think I wanna get on the fucking air with this asshole? Now I'm pissed. Master hey, it was guys, a, it was Anthony. Ra no, radio's was, radio. Hey, I didn't I, say I, anything. I went through a five-year litigation. It was Anthony's fault. Look, I've been through look, the look, 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 it was Anthony's fault. Hey, what are you pointing at me? I didn't do shit. Jim, it's five it was, years. It was Anthony's fault, five right? Five years. They took I, everything. I can't problem? believe Anthony. Now I'm gonna get that some bendejo on the phone that's gonna say that he wants to Norton. challenge me. What? Whose idea was it to make believe we were off the air? Anthony's, right? 
What are you talking about? Rewind the tape. Oh, no, 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 no. no. Where are, that uh, is uh, stupid. Yeah, that was when really Master, stupid. When Anthony. Master, when Master <laughs> Poe asked, "Are we off the air?" Who's the one that said, "Yes, we're off the air"? Uh, that was you. Bullshit. It was Opie. Jim, that, who was the one that said, "Hey, how long until we're back on that, the air? Two, three that, minutes." That is not why I'm here. Clever ruse, Opie. <laughs> that is not why I'm here. Right. Okay. My skills do here, not pertain. Get on to the, the mic because we're we're on the radio now. Oh, we are. Yeah. yeah. This is fun. <laughs> oh boy. Oh Hello? my god. No, no, no. no we're on the air. You're talking to us. Okay, yeah. Okay, now what? <laughs> no, the guy you guys on the pissed air. me off, man. I'm telling you. I know, Anthony. Five believe. years of litigation. The worst combat in my life. Oh boy. Mm. The worst. What happened? You can't just reach over. Are and you allowed to tell what first happened? First insurance. Wow. Well, uh, no. First, a, right, well, a flood. Right, wait, 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 hold on. But what happened? No, you. I'll tell you. 1999. I was hit with Hurricane Floyd. Three years of litigation with that. Yeah, and that now, has nothing to do with fighting somebody. Oh, 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 wait a second. We're talking about litigation. We're talking about legalities Is here. Is he trying to say he tried to fight a hurricane? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Is he smiling? No, yeah. I'm not. No, it's not a smile. It's more of a growl. Okay. And then, all right, Hurricane and Floyd. And then after that, and then my divorce. Stop I mean, whining. Come on, any, any man that's <laughs> out there. Stop whining. Okay. Look, my hands are above the table. Look. Guys, I, I, don't, oh, I don't push those buttons. Guys, I don't push those buttons. You brought me into this. Look, I'm going to no, explain. And that is not I, why I'm here. I, I'm not here I handle to the entertain. phone calls. Anthony does the sound bites, right, Anthony? I'm not doing anything. Well, technically, the guy did. You really didn't do anything. The guy just called and asked for it. You yeah, said that's no. All. You said what, no, yeah, you actually said no. Guy, I, have a you fought, I didn't say anything. I didn't even talk to the guy. But you fought a hurricane and you got divorced. That has nothing to do with beating up somebody for the radio show. Litigation, but this guy's saying he could kick your ass. Well, and I, I had enough confidence to, to say that Mr. You know, Poe could kick this that, guy's that's ass. That's not why I'm here. You want to put him on the phone? You want to put him on the radio? We're gonna no, get not that's if the fine. litigation thing. What's with the litigation? Yeah, what's with the litigation? <laughs> Five years of going through court. Yeah. Dealing with. <laughs> oh. Is that oh, it? You're setting me up. Wait a minute. I oh. had nothing to do with that. <laughs> Opie. I had nothing oh. to do with that. This is gonna be fun. Somebody's gonna attack. Insane? Somebody's gonna attack, and I'm gonna duck, and it's gonna hit you in the eye. Pow! Are you insane, Pow. Anthony? I'm not doing anything. Let Master Poe tell his little story. No, I'm not gonna say nothing. Holy crap! You got me pissed off. All right. I don't get angry. What's up with the litigation? Nothing. Huh? You're, gonna put, you're gonna hit the laughter button. I don't have oh. laughter buttons. I, I oh, don't lie. I don't have laughter buttons. I'm, I love how me and Ovi will just throw each other what under the bus about? at a moment's notice. No, I am. We got to play something going into the real break. That's all I'm doing. That's all I get to play here is music. Trust me. Well, we're not on break. We're on the air. Yeah. Well, yes, I'm, getting I know ready. We're on the air. I'm, I'm getting ready to play something into uh, break. That's uh -huh. all. Go ahead. Uh, now, what about the litigation? I just told you. Did you fight somebody? Oh, yeah. All right. And what the happened? Worst, worst combat of my life. In what way? Divorce. Oh, that. Oh. Oh, you see? Now we, lost are, everything. we are brothers at combat. What do you mean lost, you lost everything? I lost everything. I lost my home. I lost my business. I uh, I lost my cars. I mean, <laughs> what else? Oh, more laughter. Oh, my God. Oh my God. <laughs> this is great. I'm getting excited. <laughs> Anthony. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Is you he looking are... at us? Oh, I don't know. All I know is there's no way I'm getting my teeth kicked in because there's no buttons in front of me. He's not looking at us, right? Mm. All right. So what happened? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Oh, Jesus Christ. We're in trouble. Not a thing. All right. I'm going to... Uh... <laughs> Why don't we go into a break? Because I have to tinkle. Could someone open that door? I think I can make it. Mm. Oh, you think you can make it past them? <laughs> I think so. I think you'd be clotheslined in a second. You want to have a push-up contest? <laughs> sure. All right. Um. So it was a bad divorce. Is that your phone thing ringing? It's a noise. Hear? No, I don't know what that In is. In my headphone. It's, it's not mine though. <sighs> All right. Uh. Yeah. Look, I have nothing. Look, my hands are up in the air. That's nice. You know what's Norton? Good right? place for it. You know it's Norton. He cues things with his feet. Mm. It's just a matter of time before it becomes the Master Poe show. You know that, right? Oh, he could take over this place anytime yeah. he wants. Mm -hmm. All right, well. I'm 
see, this is what I'm doing. I'm going to play some Richard Cheese. He's a really good friend of ours, and he's coming in soon. I'm actually shaking. Richard Cheese. Yeah. So are you better now from the divorce, now that it's over? I want you to know that I don't curse. <laughs> I'm just asking. I we're haven't just, cursed in you. Oh no, you cursed God. when you came in here. I we're, said we're just getting to know each I other. I said I haven't cursed in years. We're and just he, getting to know each other. He can tell you that. You lack discipline. I had nothing to do with that. Mm. And that didn't make sense anyway. Yeah, I said that. There's plenty of discipline. Yeah. <laughs> it completely made sense that you did that. I didn't do that one. I mean. <laughs> You know, Stephen King came out with 50 <laughs> quotes. He did. 50 of his all-time favorite movie quotes. Oh. Well, we're going to take a break. All right. Why don't I go through a couple yeah. of those? Poe, is there anything right. else you want to say? No, because you're going to say we're taking a break and we're not taking anything. Oh, no, we're going to take a break. Oh, mm. that, that old clever ruse of Opie's? Uh-huh. Mm. I agree with you. That was underhanded. Oh. Jerry, do you know the human head weighs eight pounds? That was uh, Jonathan Lipnick in Jerry Maguire. Oh, yeah. That's kind of funny, right? Number 49. No, not necessarily the funniest, but the best movie quote. How about you get it? something that's funny? Lip Nicky? Uh, something that's funny? Yeah. Uh, uh, let's go to Chris on the phones. Uh, Chris, what's up? Hey, guys. Love hey. you, Jim. Hi, Chris. The contest is over. Opie just won the MyFi. <laughs> Too bad he's not going to live long enough to use it. That's funny. Watch it out, guys. Hold on. You don't really think it was all me, right? No, no, nobody thinks. No, it's not all you. Anybody. I'm I'm talking to the the guy that looks mm. like he wants to kill me. You we know, could, it wasn't all me, right? We're gonna find out if a MiFi works up the human rectum. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be an interesting little experiment. <laughs> so, uh, hmm. I'm not bad. I'm just drawn that way. That was Jessica Rabbit in Who Framed Roger oh, Rabbit. Oh, what number did that come number in? 40, number 40, Ant. Number 40. Let's uh, say hi to Jeff in Arkansas. Jeff? Come on, Marshmallow Man. Run past him. I'm, I'm sizing up the room. Trust you me. Bag. There's You're only one way out. That's the problem. <laughs> Marshmallow Man. <laughs> Watch put Steve's boots on. Oh, you could run faster if your boots are on fire. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye. Bag. Wait, what's going on? Steve C. and a clothes by Hibachi. What? what? Pass me the garbage can. Uh -oh. Why? Why? Who are you going to hit with it? No, he's going to put something in the garbage can. Now I'm going to protect myself. Oh, all right. You want me to try to get over the counter? Opie was just no, so that's your fearful for now. right there. No kidding, dude. You were just like, uh oh, what am I going to have to do? Joey, do you like movies about gladiators? Oh, airplane. Airplane. That was Peter Graves. That was number 31. 31. What are you doing every 10? Oh, I don't know. I'm just skipping around. Just waiting to see which one of you two is assaulted first. <laughs> I have nipples, Greg. Could you milk me? Uh, that would be uh, meet the parents. Yeah. The nipples. They feel like kind of uh, tingling. Ooh. My nipples are very sensitive. Hmm. What was that from? Uh, I believe it was um, the one where Arnold was uh, pregnant. Oh, uh, she's daddy's little girl. That's funny. <clears throat> it's not a tumor. <laughs> it's just a lump on the side of my head. Junior, that was the movie. Junior. Yes, I'm in the movie Junior. Junior. So, um, how are we going to solve this, Master Poe? Jenny. Huh? You know Anthony had a lot to do with it, right? No! You know Anthony's the instigator on this radio show. Why is He's he? the puppet master. Mm. The puppet master. <laughs> yeah, I'm quite a puppet master. <laughs> Hmm. Well, <laughs> when's Tom Cheese coming in? Richard Cheese. Yeah. Richard. Cheese. Oh yeah, Tommy Cheese is a comedian on New Year's. Uh, Richard Cheese is coming in soon. You know a comic named Tommy Tom. Cheese? Yeah. He has a new uh, CD out called Toxicity, and we're gonna play uh, Baby Got Back, his version. Why is he walking around the counter? What are you gonna do to me? Mm hmm. I think you really, you, you. That's right. I think you owe Master Poe an apology. I think so. For your little, you know, what off about the you? air. I didn't do the off the air bit. See, guys, I'm not here for sport. Yeah. I'm here in case someone wants to kill you. Hmm. But not wants to submit you. But no, it sucks. If they want to come in with a knife, 
yeah. and take it and thrust it into your stomach, uh -oh. that is my prevention. I am your buffer. I'm the protector. But right. now I'm your god. I'm your king. I'm the one that will protect you and take one if I have to. But now the protector wants to kill us. How stupid are we? Doesn't that always happen? The Roman army comes back and... He's our bodyguard. He's our Kevin Costner, and I'm certainly Whitney Houston in this situation. I would have said you're Adam Baldwin. I thought he was a more effective bodyguard, if you remember the original film. Hmm. Not Alec, Adam. Adam. Okay. I was thinking uh, Linderman. That's who I meant, Adam Baldwin. That was his real name. Was it? Adam Baldwin, yes, and Opie is Chris Makepeace. <laughs> well, I guess... <laughs> and then friend with the That's awful right. sinuses, Linderman. Well, I guess we learned a lesson here Isn't today. Matt Dillon in that? Yes, and maybe and, and that would be Steve can be Moody. And, Moody. And Ben can be the Ruth Gordon character, the grandmother. <laughs> You're among friends, Ricky. <laughs> <laughs> His little slash wrists. Come on, Hobson. <laughs> wow, you have seen that a few times. My father took me to see that in the movie theater. Oh. He took me to a Woody Allen film, and I went to punch him in a ball so I was too young to get it. <laughs> So, uh, oh, still trying I'm to back. take a break, right, but right. I don't know how we do this. Uh, I don't know. You put the thing in, and we all go pee. There you go. Am I allowed to go pee? Well, I don't know. Can you? Another ten minutes, I'm going to pee in my pants. Ooh. Who is your daddy, and what does he do? Hmm. Let's see how long you could last. Oh, uh -huh. boy. All right. Um, oh, oh, boy. Tim... In D.C. Tim, what's up? Hey, how's it going? Good, what's up? Hey, pose is fake. What do you mean pose is fake? Not? Why is that? Why is that? Because whenever you first mention putting him in a ring with somebody, he comes up with this BS litigation, oh. and then he comes up as though he actually kicked somebody's ass. Don't, don't, and, don't, don't. And, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, and then he comes up with this BS as though he was in five years of litigation, had nothing to do with actually fighting. The guy, I, I guarantee he's not proven in, in any ring. And he just, he, he's an actor. Pretty, uh, pretty strong words from D.C. Yeah, it's pretty easy to shit talk from Virginia. Well, well let's ask. Uh, or Maryland, actually. Well, why don't you uh, say that to Poe? Or, uh, Poe, what do you think of that? Anyone that gets in the ring, it's, it's for sport. Uh, what is your name again? Tim. Oh, oh he just ran. <laughs> what is your name? Tim. Hey, Tim, how you doing? I'm doing all right. Um, so what you're saying is that because I don't get in the ring and... Uh, no, that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is why did you make up the story about being in litigation and, and make it appear as... Tim, though, I don't think he made anything right. up. Yeah, I don't think you're so. You're just either. trying to stir things up, aren't you? Yes. Yes, you are. Jesus, Tim, you could have... It's an observation of truth. It's not masked behind some... I'm a, I'm a badass bodyguard. Oh, hang up on him. I've had it. I don't like him stirring things up while we're sitting in here in, exactly. in, in the cage. I don't like him kicking the hornet's nest while we're sitting <laughs> yeah, in it. Exactly. Uh, a lot of people wondering if Opie is sitting down to pee right now <laughs> as he's in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll, uh, we'll take our little break, and then we'll be back after Opie urinates. And we're back with the Opie and Anthony show. I'm still shaking. <laughs> no joke. Now i got to smooth things over with our protector. The instant feedback went nuts, Anthony. Um, hey, Opie, distract him with the flying poker chips. Lots of balls now, huh? He will break you like you did to Stalker Patty's frame. Al from WackBag.com, you need to hire somebody to protect you from your protection. Yes. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, Opie, you're going to pee, but you're going to have to sit down and do it. Uh, let's see. Poe is going to reach through the phone and choke this genius. Jason from Delaware. Uh, will XM be able to figure out how to live broadcast from two funerals? Uh, Angel from Jersey. Master Poe, relax, dude. Master Poe, if Owen A and, and Jimmy love you, they will include you in the show. It's the nature of the show. Just chill out. Don't kill them, please. I've waited two effing years for my dudes to get back on the air. It just goes on and on, Anthony. I'm not. Uh, I'm not afraid because I, Opie, am a level 18 sorcerer. <laughs> EverQuest two. <laughs> so you know how to handle this situation. Oh, I could. I could stun him with my freeze spell. Yeah. And make quick my getaway. Yeah, that'll work. Maybe I could. Uh, I could use the uh, 
the shackles on him and freeze him in place as I run for the zone line. Sure. Patrick from Brooklyn. When I went down to the studio, Poe scared the shit out of me and my friends, and Old Dirty was mentally altered by Poe. <laughs> He's the real deal. Well, you know what else you can do? Like what a lot of EverQuest guys do when there's real controversy? The old trick of kneeling and taking the zipper down with the teeth <laughs> and going, whoa, 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 whoa. I haven't seen that in my uh, offense book or anything. <laughs> my spell book doesn't have hollow, hollow, hollow. <laughs> you throw a flaming mouth at the man's <laughs> genitals. <laughs> oh, look, it's hitting for a lot of damage. <laughs> Henchman, so my dignity level is going down. <laughs> <laughs> Henchman from Brooklyn. Hey guys, I heard music soothes the savage beast. Maybe a little more Richard Cheese will help the situation. Mm. You know, I think we should clear the phone lines. I don't need to get in any more trouble. You We're... notice how quiet Steve was during that little thing? He didn't. His little Lebanese temper didn't flare at all. Oh yeah. And uh, Johnny Baby from Canada. Did you read that one? No. Five years of litigation. Worst fight of my life. Nothing works here. I hate this place. <laughs> Shut up. All right. You had a sucks to be you over there, Anthony? Oh, yes, yes. Let me pop that up here. Look at that, all unprepared. Um, this is a sucks to be you. Lava lamp left on hot stove tie top explodes, killing man. This is from Kent Washington. A man who placed a lava lamp on a hot stove top was killed when it exploded and sent a shard of glass into his heart. Philip Quinn, 24, found dead in his trailer home Sunday night by his parents. Why on earth he was heating a lava lamp on the stove, we don't know. Uh, but, but after the lamp exploded, Quinn apparently stumbled into his bedroom, where he died Sunday afternoon, authorities said. Police found no evidence of drug or alcohol abuse. Why would he put a lava lamp on the stove? That's crazy. And then it says, sucks to be you, but almost an unlucky lottery. What are the odds that the shard is going to, you know, go right into your heart like that? Right. Yeah. And it's a heap in help and a stupidity, I think. Groovy way to go, though. Ooh, a little different. Really tough to do a show when you got adrenaline flowing through your body. <laughs> oh. How long does it take to calm down? About 20 minutes, maybe? You're really like, uh... Oh, dude, man. You see, look at my hand. You see the look why? he was giving us? Yeah, I know, but he's, you know, he's he's a paid employee. I think he knows his boundaries and, you know, what his job is. You know, there are some times we come in here and perhaps we've had a disagreement with somebody else in the uh, in the office. We don't go to throwing fisticuffs, Opie. We deal with it. Maybe a little time passes and everything's fine. Pose a professional, well-disciplined. Professional. I, I hope he's listening to all this. Here's what you're missing, though. You guys deal with it the way you deal with it, which is on the air and well. So when there's a problem in the office, you deal with it on the air. The way he deals with problems is he removes a limb. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. his way of dealing with it may just be his natural thing of pulling off a, a freckled blonde arm and beating <laughs> Opie to death with it. <laughs> he would probably beat Ben so hard, Ben's hair would just straighten out, look nice and neatly combed. <laughs> Impossible. <laughs> Ah, He'd hit Steve so hard, his little boots would ice up. <laughs> Hat would go out. All of a sudden, you'd just see smoke. Yeah. <laughs> I saw. I noticed Steve was awfully quiet during that That's whole thing. That's what I was day. saying. He didn't say anything. It's amazing. Oh, I, know. Yeah. I don't want him to throw water on my boots. <laughs> Actually, Steve, for many years, Steve was our defender. He was our protection. Steve was our protection. Yeah. Did you see how quickly Steve handed yeah. Poe the garbage can yeah. without yeah. knowing what Poe was going to do with it? Here's the trash can. Steve just handed Handed a weapon over to him. I thought I was going to be completely humiliated, and there was going to be nothing I could do about it. Oh, I, I thought, thought he was putting that trash can over your head. I, so did I. And how do you survive that? No, yeah. How just, do you come back from that? How there's do you no go, dignity. Yeah. How do you go out in public? You have to sit there and just pretend you're meant to be like the the square. I can't think of that <laughs> fucking thing's name. Bob Cunt Squarepants. Oh, shit. SpongeBob. Ah, SpongeBob Squarepants. You know, you could take the garbage pail off of you, but your dignity is in there with the trash, <laughs> never to come out again. And then there's like milk and whatever else we've thrown in the garbage pail since All six rotting. this morning, just kind of falling from my hair. You know, I don't like about sitting outside with Steve in that outfit is that moths fly around his head and feet. <laughs> 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 it's, 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 it's courtesy for you, Jim. Let's uh, let's say how to say. Let's all put another log on the Steve. <laughs>
Chesting? Chesting! I was going to sing Chestnuts Roasting by Steve oh, Sweet, but of you're course... You're so <laughs> eager to get it all out <laughs> yeah. in one word. Chestnuts Roasting. Chesting. <laughs> Chesting fire. Uh, fat neck, little thin lips. Oh, so eager to please. Old Komodo dragon torso. Dragon? <laughs> Just shut up! <laughs> Stop <laughs> the pain! <laughs> Dragon, <laughs> I am. Oh, oh, what a mumbling hey. fucking mush. Sam from Florida, what's up? Sam. Yeah, man. Hey, Opie, that's not adrenaline. That's fucking pussy juice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I, I can't argue with you today, man. Dan from Wisconsin, what's up, Dan? Hey, Love this time of year, guy. watching the Yule Steve. You know, <laughs> when someone gives you a guard dog that you know to protect you and stuff, you know it's okay to yank his chain every now and then, but you you don't piss him off and pull his tail. I mean, he'll turn around and bite your hand clean off. I want to make this uh, perfectly clear that I'm not the only one that was involved in this thing. Hey, all of you were poking him with sticks. Everyone not me. You had a sharp stick. And not Jimmy. Not I Jimmy. didn't do any poking. And not me. Oh. I learned a valuable <laughs> lesson today. <laughs> yeah, you all were giving him a gouge every now and then. All right, Dan. Thank you. You be careful now. We have another crazy story, Anthony, that happened right here in New York City. She survived subway jump. <laughs> People are jumping in front of subways all the time in Manhattan. Oh, it's the way to go. You got a few of these every year. Remember the time that the the, the guy got hit with the subway? Oh, one, one of the most uncomfortable moments ever. Remember? You know why, right? It was the receptionist at WNEW's son. But we had no idea, remember? <laughs> oh, no. It was like on page three of the Post, this story about how this guy I do remember. leaned over to see if the subway was coming, and he was looking the wrong way, and he got smashed on the back of the head. He survived, though, right? Yeah, he survived. He had like permanent, a lot of permanent damage. Hey, but... I, I hear it coming, but I can't see it. Right. I hear the whistle. So he's looking down the tracks the wrong way. The subway hits him in the back of the head pretty much and really messes him up. And we went on and on. You want to talk about uncomfortable. We went on and on for like 20 minutes how stupid this person was. Yeah. Got to be the stupidest man alive, blah, blah, blah. And then I forgot who came in just with a panic look on their face like, shut up. You know whose kid that is? And it was the reception of the radio station. I, I Receptionist hear it. Uh, son of the radio station we are working at. I swear I hear something, but... I need a good crash. Yeah. You know, it that. takes too long, right? Yeah. So she survived subway jump. Check this out. A distraught teacher jumped onto uh, Manhattan subway tracks yesterday morning, hunched. So she jumps on uh, uh, down into the tracks. She sees the subway coming. She decides she's going to die, obviously. So, But she decides to hunch down and Why? prepare for the uh, impact. It, for the impact. Uh, so she hunches down, and six cars of a 400-ton train roared over her, and, and she survived with barely a scratch. Could you imagine? What an she idiot! Just, she just panicked. I bet she leaned. She rolled over. She didn't want to get hit, or she would have. See, that's the way to do it, though. The thin, thirty-five-year-old woman fits safely in the shallow uh, trough between the rails, leaving witnesses in awe of the rush hour miracle at the busy 59th Street hub. She should have went, stood up, and gone. Ta-da! <laughs> <laughs> you know, we haven't had in a while. Is remember every year you get. We haven't had him this year. Is the guys pushing people? The crazy homeless guy that yeah. pushes you comes right from behind and pushes mm -hmm. you. I don't think it's been cold enough. When yeah. it gets cold, they all head down into the subway and uh, and start pushing people because they're angry. Yeah, that it's cold. But that's a pretty amazing story today. But if you're an idiot, I mean, you, sh you first of all, you should not be looking for the train. You should be nowhere near the end edge of the platform. Whenever I take the subway. I, while I'm waiting for it, I stand against the wall so no one can even get behind me because you don't know. Some nuts in the city. There's all these kooks that go around bashing people on the head with cobblestones. That was a big one a couple of years back. Yeah, a tourist. Yeah, that was like 2001's big thing is a homeless guys with cobblestones. Why in 2001, you know, there's uh, roads made of cobblestone anymore? You ever have to drive on these friggin' streets? But it's like, what year is this? We're in New York City in 2004, and I'm driving on cobblestones. And you shake one loose, and a homeless guy decides to pick it up, carry it around in his shopping cart, until he, uh, until a, <laughs> a dog tells him to wail it over some poor sap's head. And then there you are. Uh, all fucked up for the rest of your life. There's a lot of ways to die in New York City. Well, the reason that was 2001 is because that guy actually took a brick and smashed somebody's head, and then another homeless guy said, that is so 98. <laughs> <laughs> See, what you need is this. This is a cobblestone. <laughs> yeah. 
All right. Uh, Tony in the Bronx. Hey, Tony. Hey, what's going on? Oh, why don't you uh, strap on your scuba gear and um, uh, fight uh, Master Paul underwater? Uh, I guess that's the way you want to fight. Take it a few feet underwater. I wonder if he could fight as well as I can underwater. Yep. Punch he, it out, guys. He'd Thank kick you. your ass underwater. Yeah, just grab your 60 feet underwater? I would never even... Fight as good as you can. You had one fight underwater with a yeah. Frenchman. Well, how many fights have you had underwater? None. But Jim, how many fights French have you guy? had underwater? Uh, I've had about uh, four. <laughs> <laughs> I could be the only man alive that has ever fought 60 feet underwater. Battling your hog in the bathtub doesn't uh, count. <laughs> right. I got gotcha. you. Come here, you. <laughs> Trying to get it out of the ducky before the water drains. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, don't mock it unless you've one fight unless you've tried 60 it. 60 feet underwater with a French guy. Yeah. What kind of fight is a French guy going to put up? Not a good one, but yeah. slow motion fighting <laughs> rules. <laughs> it really does. Dave in Indianapolis. What's up, Dave? I was just wondering, isn't there anything in that 30 minutes of paperwork that the guests fill out that would protect Master Paul from a lawsuit? Oh, I see. Now, I, it was you know what that started out as just uh, you know a fun little thing. You know, uh, this guy wants to fight Master Poe for a MiFi. We actually weren't going to have Master Poe fight anybody. We know. No, we just want to hear the we guy. We know talk, that would be a uh, bad idea. We want to hear the caller, the guy that offered to fight. We want to hear him talk some smack. That's all. That's it. And uh, then and then it turned into a big thing because Anthony decided to make believe we were still on the air. Uh, it just amazes me. Listen no. to the replay yourself. You'll hear it. Yep. Listen to the replay. You will hear Opie say. No, we're off the air. And then you'll see, too bad you can't see Anthony lean back in mock casual relaxing thing to make him lower his guard. Yeah, I forgot about that, how you were all lean back. Shut up. That was your, that was your after show posture. His I was over his stretching. Head. Yeah, leaning back, and, but uh, being able to reach forward just enough to hit a couple of those buttons in front oh, of you. Oh, thank you for the hanging out to dry. What about uh, Opie? How long uh, before we go to break? <laughs> two minutes? Yeah. We got two minutes before we go to the break? My, my acting Or come back from break? Too. It worked uh, well enough. Yeah, all right. So. Oh. Oh, the leaning back thing. Stop it. Yeah, you it. really were rolling your hands you behind your head just to totally disarm him. sold me out right there. I didn't hear Jimmy Norton go, no, we're we're on the air still, Master Poe. Jimmy Norton's a good actor. He took his headphones off like he was in on break. Oh, you took your headphones off. I too, believed see? it. I thought we were in a break. <laughs> you oh, did stop not. Stop it. You know my acting stinks. I think you're a very good actor. I thought we were in a break. Yeah, sure. Liar, liar. Pants like Steve's hat. <laughs> <laughs> Brian in Levittown, what's up? Hey, what's up, boy? I just want to say Christmas morning, I'm going to turn on Channel 4 and watch the Yule Thief. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Or I made that John Malkovich uh, film in the line of Steve. <laughs> Oh my god, you stink. Dude, I'm so tired. You're awful I've been up today. since yesterday. You're a line of Steve. <laughs> uh, oh, I can't I like think. Chariot of Steve's shoes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Man on Steve's shoes was really good with Denzel. Oh God! Wow. <laughs> uh, oh, is that uh, actually? Uh, well, you, all right. I'm going to make it perfectly clear that Anthony. I want to make this perfect. That Anthony wants to talk to Brian, not me. Let's see. Just hear what Brian has. Well, to why say. don't you say hi to Brian? Hello, Brian. Yo. Hi. Are you actually the guy that uh, wrote in and wanted to fight Master Poe? Yes, I am. Ah. Yes, I am. Uh, I right. can give you my email address and everything. Thanks for starting a little bit of crap on the show. <laughs> what the hell nice. happened? Because I infighting. Uh, so I just got. I got. Well, what happened was that I was I was almost paralyzed, and Anthony was almost thrown through a window, and <laughs> and would have fell yeah. uh, probably six to seven stories to his death, yeah. thanks to you. My bad. <laughs> well, uh, and Norton would have just skated out of here. Yep. I'd Where, like well, to. I'd like to know what what. Uh, where's Brian's from? Oh, uh, Connecticut. He's from Connecticut. And what are your what are your fighting qualifications, sir? Qualifications? Well, I've done a little MMA here and there, mixed martial arts for those who don't MMA. know. MMA? Yes. Mixed uh, martial arts. Yes. And uh, probably not as much as Poe, but like I just want to prove that I could probably hang in there with him for a few minutes, win the <coughs> Wi-Fi. And, uh, you know. all, right, all right, all kidding aside, there's no way you can hang in there with Master Poe. We've seen the guy in action. Look yeah, at, look at me kiss kissing Master Poe's ass now, but it's the truth. Are you a big guy, or are you like a wiry guy that can kick some ass? No, nah, about 6'1", 210. We've seen hmm. Master Poe spar, and it's pretty ugly. I'll spar one of many times. Yeah, I don't know if we can get this done. We though. can't only because 
if he if he hurts you and he probably will, yeah, that's what he's talking about. Lawsuits, he'll get sued because he's here to protect. And all of a sudden, you know, we have him ripping people's arms out and smashing them with it. I usually end up hurting someone real bad. Yeah. Well, hey, you know what? If, if I had to sign a waiver, I'll sign a waiver, whatever. Uh, all right, yellow belly. <laughs> Harvey. All right, well, Harvey. it's a thought. We'll see what happens with that. We got your info, all right? All right, dude. All right, well, all there's right. the guy that started all the trouble. Hey, <laughs> get a load of Fetso there.